Hello everybody, welcome to the land of Pharaoh's Egypt. To all my viewers who are interested in my videos, I make my videos in English and in Arabic as well. Today I'm gonna talk about the lighthouse of Alexandria. At the beginning I would like to show you this area nearby the lighthouse location. It's an island, the most ancient island in Alexandria. It's called the Pharos Island. Pharos is the Greek name of the lighthouse. This area as well is famous of fishermen's seafood restaurant, ice cream shops, and many stuff you can visit. On the left side of the external gate, you can see this beautiful mosaic painting. As you know, Alexandria was named after the name of Alexander the Great, who came from Macedonia in year 331 BC. I will talk about him in details, but not in this video. In the video about Alexandra Library, it's coming soon. When Alexander the Great died, Ptolemy I, his name is Soter, he declared himself as the king of Egypt in year 305 BC, and he began the construction of the lighthouse. And when he died, his son and his successor, Ptolemy II Villadelvos, he completed the construction of the ancient lighthouse in year 280 BC. The real function of the lighthouse is to guide all the ships which come from the sea to the harbor, especially the eastern harbor. And you can see its ruins now on the Corniche Road nearby. As you know, the lighthouse was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Do you know why? Because its lens more than 127 meters high and now I'm here at the original location of the lighthouse in front of us Kaid Bay castle which erected by the Mamluk Sultan Kaid Bay during 15th century I already talked about it before if you want to know more about it you can find the links in the description box below And maybe you have a question now, where is exactly the lighthouse? Unfortunately, the lighthouse was destroyed because of three earthquakes, happened during 956 and 1323 AD. And maybe you have another question, where is the ruins of the ancient lighthouse? Some of these ruins are used in the construction of the fortress. The Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities in the year 2016, they decided to turn the ruins of submerged Alexandria, including the Pharos, into underwater museum here in Alexandria in the area nearby here. So you can see the submerged monuments including the lighthouse parts under sea water here. Scuba diving here in Egypt is very interesting, so you can dive here in Alexandria or in uh, Red Sea cities where you can see very beautiful uh, natural coral reefs there. I will talk about it later. As well as we have some of these um, submerged monuments preserved inside museums and archaeological sites. You can really spend here a good day by your visit to the location of the lighthouse or Kai Bay Fortress or maybe museums as well. I will show it for you next time. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something about it. If you like this video, don't forget to press like and share.
If you want to see more videos about Egypt, don't forget to subscribe in this channel. Wait for me and more interesting videos.